The night of the bridegroom is for you, my friend. You, who are always depending on someone, the prayer of someone, someone to help you, someone to guide you if you are always weak, fragile. You are weak in faith, a frail faith, always swayed. The night of the bridegroom is for you, whose lamp is out or almost extinguished by the situation. This is what the foolish virgins said to the wise ones. Give us some of your oil, because our lamps are going out. The Spirit of God has prepared this night for you, for us who are the bride, for us who has been wise, for us that has been wise, but we have put away the impulses of inactivity, negligence, laziness, and everything that causes us to lose the vision of this fear of what is holy. The night of the bridegroom on the 11th would have been this Wednesday, but we are giving you some time to prepare yourself. Because we don't want you on this night, Bishop Giulio and Bishop Cucato, just for you to be adventurous. We want someone who wants to be the fountain of God in this world, someone who will pour out the water of life. Maybe you've been foolish until now, until this very moment. But regardless of your religious beliefs, cultural or social status, if you decide now, there where you are, and say, from now on, Bishop Clodomir, I will be wise, I will be prepared, I will fast, I will read the Bible, I will get rid of my doubts, call the helpline now and get this off my chest. I will clarify what needs clarification, because I want to be wise. I want to have this encounter with God. I want to be born again. I want to have the same joy and peace that these real-life testimonies give us when they share the before and after they encountered the bridegroom. I want to be this bride. Then this night is for you. This parable that we see when they wake up, it's too late. But for those who are watching for them, it is not too late. On the contrary, they are given time to prepare themselves for this night so that it is an unforgettable experience. So do not shun this opportunity, because this is much more than an invitation. It is a convocation. You will place yourself in the situation that Bishop Kukatu just mentioned, because later will be too late. This is the truth. It has been like that in the lives of many. So heed this call attend this convocation on the 11th of May, Wednesday, 5 p.m., the night of the bridegroom, the night of your encounter or re-encounter with God, the night your light will be reignited, okay?